Just in, investigators drop Russiagate bombshell. Russiagate, as it has come to be known, is one of the biggest fake news stories of the year. Normally, it is difficult to decide whether or not a story is factual or fiction, but the bombshells and revelations debunking this story just keep coming. It has been revealed that the Senate Intelligence Committee, SIC, has been working tirelessly to figure out the truth behind President Trump and rumors of collusion, once and for all. What they instead discovered has led them down a completely different path. According to the, the Daily Caller, the dossier detailing any shady behavior cannot be proven. The SIC cannot get the author of the 35-page dossier, Christopher Steele, to testify as to sources, subsources, or Basically, any evidence that would prove this document is based in reality. He refused. As a result, this makes the whole Russiagate story look even more like a house of cards. The foundation, which metaphorically would be the document, is flimsy, shaky, and for the sake of the card metaphor, wet and soggy. Now, with the house of cards ready to collapse, it is up to the sick to prove their point so the country can move on. If they are unable to prove the simplest aspect of their claim, maybe it is time to move on to more important matters. Unfortunately, the committee has hit a wall, admitted Senator Richard Burr, R. North Carolina, who is also the chairman of the committee. He then explained their attempted interactions with Steele. We have on several occasions made attempts to contact Mr. Steele, to meet with Mr. Steele, Burr continued. He then said that he and Mark Warner, a Virginia Democrat, both unsuccessfully tried to make something happen with Steele. Now, unable to make anything materialize with Steele, the committee is stuck. It is hard for them to continue an investigation when they are using a faulty, false narrative riddle document as the basis for their claim. It would be irresponsible to push forward, and Burr seems to admit that. The committee cannot really decide the credibility of the dossier without understanding things like who paid for it, who are your sources and subsources, Burr said. Steele is a former MI6 operative and was hired by someone at the firm Fusion GPS last June. The admitted purpose was to investigate Donald Trump's connections to Russia. But there are a couple of problems with this, and those problems are making people uneasy. First of all, who hired Steele? If it was someone with ties to the Clintons, the goal was likely to discredit the president. Trump dossier author refuses to cooperate. Is this investigation collapsing? Who would specifically ask for evidence on Donald Trump and Russia before news of any alleged collusion was even announced? The likely answer is the people who haven't been able to stop talking about it since the rumor first leaked, someone in, or affiliated with, the Democrat Party. This then becomes a question of why would someone try to make this connection? The answer seems to be clear, the people who want to see him fail. It is hard to say what will become of the 35-page document. One thing is for sure, if they can't prove the evidence contained in the paperwork, which is where it stands now, the document is worthless. Maybe this could bring the nation back to the real issues instead of a baseless Russia claim that the left doesn't seem so sure of anymore.